Hi students how are you all once again welcome back to another session of the online english classes In today's video we are going to continue with our discussion of the very last chapter of your marigold book that is who will be ningdo four videos on this chapter have already been uploaded if you have still not watched those videos do it as soon as possible because if you don't you may face a little difficulty in understanding today's video but before we start any new discussion it's very important to first have a look at all the important things that were discussed in the previous video So in the very beginning we saw that a horse race was organized to choose the Tanginindo. Tanginindo is a Manipuri word for the future king, but all the three brothers, Sanajoba, Sanayema and Sanatomba finished the race together. Since all the brothers finished the race together, the question of choosing the future king still remained unanswered. So the people of Kangli Park still did not have any future king. The Nindo instructed his sons to do something different, which would make them unique, which would make them stand out. Finally, Sanajoba, the eldest son of the Nindo, mounted a horse with a spear in his hand. all right so this is where our discussion ended today we are going to find out what happened after this and we also discussed that shagol thobanupa are the manipuri words for such fine horsemen all right so let's begin our discussion sanajoba then looked at the huge kongnang standing majestically in the distance all right so first we saw that he mounted a horse then he held a spear in his hand and because he did this everyone was thinking what is sanajoba going to do exactly now what he did he was looking at the huge banyan tree kongnang is the manipuri word for a banyan tree now here is a new word majestically let us see what exactly does this word mean The word majestic means having or showing impressive beauty. All right, now students, the word majestic is an adjective, but the word that you can see in your book majestically it is an adverb. All right, so anything that is very beautiful is majestic. All right, now here in the picture you can see a banyan tree, and in the chapter also we are discussing about a kongnang or a banyan tree, which is majestic. Now anything that is beyond beautiful, that is larger than life, that is referred to as majestic. So every time we look at a banyan tree, we all have the feeling that it's not just very beautiful, but it's also enormous it's so huge it covers such a huge uh, area and it's also home to many creatures that is why um, the banyan tree is given such a stature among all other trees so the banyan tree was at a distance from sanajoba and it was looking all majestic okay so sanajoba looked at the tree and what he did he pierced the tree and jumped his horse right through it let us see what the word pierce means the picture that you can see here is uh, enough to give you an idea about what the pierce the word pierce can mean the word pierce means using a sharp pointed object to go into or through something so in this picture the balloon is being pierced by a needle yes in the same way sanajoba pierced the kongnang or the banyan tree with his spear sanajoba pierced the tree now students uh, as you already know he had a spear in his hand when he had mounted his horse yes so he used that spear to pierce the tree and when he pierced the tree it probably split into two and the way that was made he made his horse jump through it 
so jumping through means he was standing at one end of the uh, banyan tree and after he crossed the banyan tree he uh, landed at the other side of the banyan tree all right so next bravo bravo the people shouted thoro thoro and then they fell silent all right so thoro is the manipuri word for bravo but what exactly does the word bravo means let us see the word bravo is basically an exclamation which is used to express approval when a performer or other person has done something well so here sana joba is one of the contestants and since he has done so well in making his horse jump through the banyan tree the people were you know exclaiming their joy they were you know uh, applauding him they were approving of the thing that he had done so they were all clapping and they were saying bravo and in manipuri bravo is called thoro now it was the turn of the second son sanayema what would he do now one by one all the sons are coming sana joba was the first one we saw what he did now it's the second son's chance sana yama's chance now what would he do sana yama too looked at the kangnang as he mounted his horse so they were all placed at a little distance from the banyan tree so while he was mounting his horse he was looking at the kangnang then he too rode towards the tree harder and harder the students r o d e road many of you already know what it means still let us see a variation in this word the word road is a past tense of the verb ride now you already know what it means yes so in when we are talking uh, in present tense we use the word ride in past tense road and when we are using the past participle form we use the word ridden then he too rode towards the tree harder and harder okay so he was moving very fast then the people watched in silence afraid even to breathe the students this is something that happens to everyone when we are watching a movie and when there is a climax going on you know it's it's the end and there's a fight scene going on you don't know who is going to win and you're just biting your nails and you're just so very nervous you don't you're just holding your breath yes you're eagerly waiting for what the outcome would be so here also the same thing was happening the people were also wondering oh my god what is sanayam exactly going to do where why is he riding towards the tree so they were afraid to breathe now when he was really close he urged his horse to jump let us see what the word urge means The word urge is a verb which means to try to persuade someone to do a particular thing. So if you want to have an ice cream you try to persuade your mother to say yes so that you can go and have an ice cream. Yes, but here in this chapter Sana Yema is urging his horse not the way you urge your mother. Okay. Here the horse riders uh, they have a technique of urging their horses they probably do something with their boot and they try to uh, hit the horse in a way so that it reacts so that it responds to the rider okay so uh, that is not the urging that humans do that urge is different all right so the here you can see a horse rider he is riding a horse in the same way sana yama was also riding and he urged his horse to jump now students another very important information is the word urge can also be used as a noun which means to uh, a strong desire for something all right but in this chapter the verb urge has been used and not the noun urge when he was really close he urged his horse to jump so as we already discussed that the banyan tree was at a distance and he was riding from a distance to reach the banyan tree and when he went near the banyan tree when he went close to the banyan tree he urged his horse to jump higher and higher the horse rose until horse and rider jumped clear over the huge tree and landed on the other side in a wonderful motion so this must have looked very cinematic yes this 
happens in movies yes so if you try to imagine a horse rider is making his horse jump over a tree okay that's really not possible i mean we don't know i mean it, this happens in stories right everything is possible in stories yes uh, your the imagination is wide and it's it can do anything so uh, yes yeah, sanayama he urged his horse and he made his horse jump and the horse rose so high that both the horse and the rider jumped over the huge tree and they landed on the other side not they did not fall they landed okay in a wonderful motion the people breathed in relief and said in unison fajay fajay wonderful wonderful now there are some uh, new words here let us see first what the meaning of the word relief is the word relief means the feeling of happiness that occurs when something unpleasant or distressing stops or does not happen so students when your exams are coming near you're all very stressed right you are uh, giving a lot of hours to prepare for your exams and you know you don't know how your exams would be so it's a bit of a tension but when your exams are over you are relieved yes you get a sense of relief so the feeling that you get after your exams are over that feeling is called a relief okay but for many people exams are not challenging they love taking exams yes so it's not unpleasant for everyone so here the relief was the people got the relief when uh, actually uh, as we have already discussed they were even afraid to breathe they were you know uh, very nervous and they did not know what the outcome of uh, sanayama's activity would be so they were very tensed and when they saw that sanayama perfectly landed on the other side of the khangnang they were relieved the word unison means acting or speaking together or at the same time okay so all the people of kanglepak who were watching this race or who were you know seeing sanayama's activity they all got so excited that they spoke together they were talking together in unison and what did they say fajay fajay people breathed in relief and said in unison fajay fajay wonderful wonderful so again a new manipuri word fajay is the manipuri word for the word wonderful so they are exclaiming yes it is an exclamation it shows how excited they were how happy they were now students let us look at the two new manipuri words that you have learnt in today's video the word wonderful is called fajay and the word bravo is called thoro so other manipuri words that you have also learned are like kangnang kanglepak nindo changinindo yes so uh, it's better if you write down all these words in one place along with their english uh, meanings it would be better for and it would be easier for you to memorize all these words now that we have finished our discussion in for today's video let us quickly go through a summary of all the important points that we have discussed in the very beginning we saw that sana joba pierced the majestic banyan tree and made his horse jump through it so he pierced the khangnang with his spear sanayama the second son of the nindo mounted his horse and made it jump over the banyan tree yes and because he landed on the other side of the banyan tree so nicely and so wonderfully the people of kangle park rejoiced on seeing this so next we will see what the youngest son of the nindo does now students it's time for you to answer some very easy questions based on today's discussion the first question is why were the people afraid to breathe number 2 what did sanayama do so here you have to write about the activity that sanayama did how was sana joba's activity different from sana yama's so now students this is going to be a bit lengthy because you have to describe the both the activities by both the brothers and you also have to tell the difference in both these activities 
and the last question is what did people say in unison all right so these are very easy questions i hope you'll have no difficulty in answering these all right students with this we come to the end of our today's discussion of the chapter who will in and though in the upcoming few videos the remaining part of the chapter will be discussed until then stay safe everyone and goodbye